What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and you know, I wanted to take some time to really think about this new Dark World support before I made a video about this stuff because it's really cool, but I think that they could have done better. So be sure to smash the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. So the first card that we have to talk about here is a retrain of Skittles, aka Rainbow. <laughs> because I know of where I can find a few rainbows and it's coming from the Ultra Ball. But besides that, we've got Rainbow Supreme Overlord of Dark World. It is a Dark Fiend, level 8, 3000 attack, 1800 defense. You can special summon this card from your graveyard by returning one level 7 or lower Dark World monster you control to the hand. Okay, that's not bad. They basically stuck a Grapha effect on it. Okay. If this card is discarded by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can add one level 5 or higher Dark World monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. Then if it was discarded by your opponent, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Dark World monster from your deck or graveyard to either field. So, it's, it's really not that bad. I think that this will be a mainstay in the deck and it's also a virus target keep that in mind if you didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh way back in the day when the first dark world structure deck came out here in the tcg when we first got graph on all that dark worlds are known for being able to play multiple copies of eradicator and deck devastation virus like they can play a lot of copies of those virus cards so having high attack dark worlds that are dark really does help the deck a lot in that regard because i mean what a lot of people used to do back in the day was just get like two graphas out and set two copies of eradicator or like an eradicator and a deck debbie and just destroy the opponent's whole hand and field of their spells or traps and their high attack monsters so keep that in mind as we kind of go through these cards that you know if they're easy to get out it makes your virus cards that much more better um i think overall the effect is pretty good i think that this rainbow retrain is is overall solid so then we have dark world uh puppeteering um and it's it's basically dark smog but in spell card form I, i'm pretty sure that that's raiko the little dog there and then you've got of course snow but it's a quick play spell you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn you can target up to three cards in any graveyards banish them then discard a fiend monster and then it says during your main phase except the turn this card was sent to the grave you can banish this card from your grave target one of your banished fiend monsters add it to your hand so it's got like a dark smog effect which i think that they added to be called fiend smog um but it's essentially a burial from the different dimension but instead of bringing three from your banished zone to the grave you banish three from either grave so it acts as a banish from the grave interrupt and then you can also discard a fiend it's not terrible on a quick play um especially with tier elements coming out and they like to do shenanigans in the grave um you know being able to banish those tier elements from the grave is really good being able to span to banish those splite monsters from the graveyard is really good even hitting eldritch like hitting the golden lords hitting the conks the sanguines this is a overall really solid card do i think it's going to be played uh it might be more of a side deck card then we have this big ass behemoth we have grapha dragon overlord of dark world so it's a dark fiend fusion effect monster level 10 3200 attack 2300 defense also keep in mind that they do have the dark world field spell which makes all the fiends gain 300 attack and defense so with the field spell on the field then this fusion becomes 35 and the new rainbow becomes 33 so keep that in mind um it requires grapha plus one dark monster this is where i start having issues with these new cards why does it need to require Grapha? I get that you don't want these Dark World cards to be generically overpowered because then you run into issues like having a good stuff dot deck type of scenario, but it shouldn't have required Grapha. So it says you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. When your opponent activates a normal spell or trap card or monster effect, quick effect, you can make that effect become your opponent discards one card. If this fusion summon card leaves the field by your opponent, you could special summon one of your Grapha, Dragon Lord of Dark World that is banished or in your graveyard, then each player discards one card. I don't know why they made this be just a normal spell or trap. They should have just made it a flat out Omni thing where it can be any spell trap or monster effect. I don't know why they just had to make it normal. Like, you know, a card like Baroness de Fleur is just strictly better now. Like, they could have given Dark Worlds an Omni Negate or even like an Omni effect change to your opponent discards one card um i don't really know how else to word that um recurring grapha like okay that's cool but 
the fusion shouldn't revolve around Grapha. And last but not least, I also have a gripe with the fusion spell. So this is Dark World Ascension. It's a quick play spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. During the main phase, you can fusion summon a fiend fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your field and or grave. If summoning a Dark World fusion monster this way, you can also discard monsters from your hand as a material. During your main phase, this card's in your grave. You can add it to your hand and then ditch a Dark World monster. So that second effect is really, really solid. Like just being able to ditch Grapha and then pop or, you know, being able to ditch the original rainbow to get out rainbow, ditching gold to get gold, silver to get silver, um, beige to get beige, you know, things like that. But why did they have to limit it to the main phase? You are inherently limiting Dark World's ability to OTK, which is something that they were known for back in the day. You know, you could very easily get out like a Grapha and a rainbow or a Grapha and a gold, two Graphas, depending on, you know, your, your end board, uh, summoning tour guide to, you know, go for brow, make a play, uh, you know, you somehow get out brow to the field or banish it, ditch a fiend to draw off the field spell. Why would you make it to where you couldn't El Shadal fusion with it and have it be in the battle phase? You know, what if you've got like the original rainbow and Grapha on the field? You swing with both, but you don't have enough for game. You activate the quick play spell fusion in the battle phase to make this big ass fucking fusion and swing for game. I get it. They don't want it to be generically good to where it's just played in every type of deck, but they shouldn't have limited it to the main phase. I feel that that's really going to hinder Dark Worlds as a whole moving forward. Now, do I think that the deck is going to be tier one moving forward? I, I, I don't think so. I think tier elements just have too much on the OCG meta right now. We're not even going to be getting this structured deck until probably 2023, unless they change it to like a side set where they throw in all this stuff plus some other stuff into like a side set, like we saw with the Pendulum structure deck a few years back. Um, but overall, unless they plan on showing more support from the structure deck, uh, more new support, I should say, I'm very cautiously optimistic about this new support because it could turn out just to not be all that great. And I'm not saying I want to see Dark World, you know, being a tier one, tier two or a rogue deck, you know, again, because we've seen the craziness. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. I've been dealing with that broken window situation for a couple days now and I'm exhausted. Um, you know, we've seen Dark Worlds be a fairly competitive deck and we've seen where it pisses people off. Uh, with those virus cards and with the discard effects. I just wish that they would have made the fusion monster not revolve around Grapha and let the fusion spell be in the battle phase. But I could be wrong. I mean, I haven't touched Dark Worlds in like months because I think Dark Arm Duelist posted a deck profile of it and I tried it and Dark Worlds are just too slow in 2022, but it was cool to go back and try. But guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Why your organization need to work on your fucking ads? I swear I'm tired of looking at this shit on the side of my screen. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.